channel thank you so much for stopping by today I'm gonna do a unboxing and kind of like a demo of the new um, Karuchi Tran ColourPop um, collaboration I just got it in the mail a few days ago I was on vacation and I got the email that it was delivered and I was like oh my god I can't wait to get home and try it so I got home two days ago and I had time today to film so I just wanted to get on it um, so I'm wearing it today I have the eyeshadow on my eyes today i also have the blush the bronzer and the lipstick so i use everything from this palette i even use my ColourPop brow pencil to do my eyebrows mm -hmm, okay so um yeah if you want to see how i feel about this how it works if i like it swatches then keep on watching so i have a few different things here um i first have the femme rosa karuchi and color pop um set so i got the set that said pr set that's why i got this really cool box with it um, I think the box is super super cute um, And I definitely will keep this box but I like to keep things like that The only thing is that like when I heard PR set I thought oh my god it's gonna be so cool Like everything you know like when you see YouTubers that like, get things like it's all like You know like set in cool it's kind of just put in the box which is fine but it's, it's not really what i expected but um I still like it it's cute so it comes with these three things in the PR set so the first thing we have here is the she shadow palette it looks like this i love this like type of like mauve mauvey pink packaging it's super cute um so uh this is called the she uh press powder shadow palette um let's open it up um first of all like this is so cute this like floral packaging um it just feels like really good quality and then it says um M. Rosa Karuchi Chan She uh, Shadow Palette. And then on the back, it has the shadow names. So do you remember when I did my review on the last ColourPop stuff that I got? So when I did a review on on this palette, on these palettes that I had gotten, I was talking to you guys about how it has a sleeve on it. And I didn't keep the sleeves, um, but the sleeve is what has the shadow name. So without that, I don't know what these shadows are called unless... I take them out and look at the back of them um, and they're not actually on the packaging because the packaging is standard and they just pop in different colors I think that's why also they're able to keep their price point down and have such quality product because they don't print and everything like that so this is generic they can make it in bulk and things like that with that being said you can see these are different the shadow names are printed right onto the packaging um, and the pans do not pop out I mean I'm sure you could force them out but they don't they're not like easily popped out or anything so there's no mirror which i have no problem with um and it has this really cute floral uh design up here and then we have the shades down here and they just look really really cute so i'm gonna do my eye look um today using these colors and we'll see how i like that but let's just swatch a few just for um just to see how they go i'm gonna do like a few different types so let's do a metallic this is gal a metallic right here it's almost like a purpley and I haven't swatched these yet. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty metallic. Okay, let's try a matte. These are the ones that are calling to me. This is Damsel right here. There's a little bit of fallout and you can see kind of like the chunkiness. Here. But that's okay. And then let's try, what else do we have? This is a satin. This one's called Babe. This is the Her palette. Um, it says Femme Rosa Kirchi Tran ColourPop Her Face Palette. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I love this whole like floral thing they got going on here so it has the same print the same thing on the outside again the names of the colors are printed on the actual outside packaging 
Um, and then we have three, we have a highlight, a blush, I'm sorry, we have a bronzer, um, a blush, and a highlight. Which, these are kind of printed backwards, which is kind of weird. From left to right. Oh, I get it. Definitely there, which is nice. Is it matte? It doesn't say. It looks like it has tiny shimmer. We'll see how it looks on the face. Um, let's try the blush. Not a lot of fallout in these. There's the blush. And then let's try the highlight. The highlight feels really good. And you know ColourPop has great highlights. So really pretty like golden highlight. Gorgeous. Okay, let's try Mrs. first, which is the Ultra Satin Lip, which I don't know. Have I tried the Ultra Satin Lips? Let's try this. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, it's super cute, and it's not too glossy either. Like, that's a super, super cute color. So this one's the Miss. Let's try... This is also an Ultra Satin Lip, so there's no mattes here. This is also an Ultra Satin Lip. This is called Darling. It's a really nice dark color. Gorgeous. We have an ultra glo ultra glossy lip in Contessa which I'm not a huge glossy person but oh this is cool in the bottle it looks like very bronzy so I was worried about that but on your hand it kind of looks like it could almost be let's see on your hand it kind of looks like it can almost be like a really nice topper on top of a different lip so to give you a little bit of gloss and a little bit of shimmer but these two are freaking gorgeous Let's see how they dry down because it seems to be drying a little bit um, and we'll see how they wear. Now, when I saw the, the Karuchi collection, like I really like her. I like her style um, and I like, I like the whole vibe of this collection. Um, she had another collection before and I had bought her lipsticks, but I did not like the formula of it. Let me show you. So here are most of my ColourPop lipsticks that I have. I have a large variety and she had, let me see if I can find it. Where's the chi? I can't find the third one, but she had three lipsticks come out before, and her name is Karuchi. So they had Ka, Rooch, and then Chi, which I think is kind of stupid. I wasn't crazy about that. So this is the Ka, and this is a ultra matte lip. And I don't know what it was about this color, but it was all like chunky. Look, it's a dark brown, like this. This is Ka, um, but it didn't like wear nicely. Like it didn't look good on me and the formula was super cracky. I don't know. And then this is the Rooch, which this is, the, this is also an ultra matte lip. Another dark, dark color. And this is a lot more red than this one. This one's more of a brown, true brown. This one's more of like a brick red. Just a really pretty color, but again, it didn't wear well on me. Almost more drying than ColourPop's regular matte lipsticks. Um, so I don't get a lot of wear out of these two. So maybe I'll prefer the satin formula. Because if you look, now that the satins have dried down, they look very dry, but they don't, like they look very, like almost matte, not very glossy, but they're not completely, like they're still a little... Um, creamy if that makes sense so it shouldn't be too drying definitely not transfer proof or anything like that but still matte and maybe a little bit more comfortable wearing for those so let's see if I like these better than her other collection if you spent I think $40 or more in Karuchi products you got this lipstick for free which this is an ultra glossy lip in the color polished 
and um on their like instagram stories a lot of the girls were wearing this and i don't know if it will look good on me it's like a bronzy gloss which is different for me i'm not like i said a super glossy person um but it's really pretty it's here like this so this is so this one and this one are the glosses these are the satins and then these are the mattes from her old collection Okay, so first I'm going to go in with a few, oh yes, I know. So I don't know if you guys saw, but they're coming out with like uh, concealers and I'm sorry, I hope you guys don't mind, don't mind my cat. Um, she is very talkative. If you're new to my channel, um, you probably might be annoyed a little bit at first, but she's super cute, so she gets a pass. Um, so I'm sorry, but she was outside before and now she wants to come in and out in and out So she'll probably make me get up and let her outside one more time before I'm done filming this video. So, you know, there's some things I can't use ColourPop, but like right now I'm using the Tarte Better Days Um, just for a base Um, but they're coming out with concealer and stuff. So I'm super excited uh, about that to try all that So I hope you I hope you guys don't mind a lot a lot of these ColourPop videos that I have been doing But I really enjoy uh, ColourPop and I really like their product and I like it even more so because it's not super expensive This is the Kat Von D locket uh, concealer in M19 Which is one of my favorites Side note, I bought these little beauty butters. I told you guys I was gonna buy I don't like them I bought the real beauty blender which I know I told you guys about which I actually um, really like but um this one the small ones i don't really like it i don't know why like they're too small they're a little they feel a little more dense than the regular i don't know i'm just not crazy about it okay so i have my eyebrows done for now um and then i just primed my lids with a little bit of smashbox primer that i had on hand so we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette and do our eyeshadow first so i'll let you know what colors i am going to use so the the palette i like you can kind of fold it like this back um i always like palettes like that for traveling so you can always just like fold it back put everything in your, on your counter um so let's see how it works so i'm gonna take a flat shader brush first and i'm gonna go in with do we have a matte color we don't have like an all over matte color that I can put all over the lid, but let's try for the lid color. I'm going to go in with Duchess, which is a matte, which is this one in the bottom corner. Well, actually, no, hold on. So they go left to right, left to right. So actually, I was wrong. So left. This is Deer. They do, like, I, I would think this one would be this one. But they don't do that. It's like left to right, left to right. Because I noticed that with the bronzer palette. So I think in the beginning I named the wrong name. So I'm going to have to fix that. But so the first color all the way to the left. This is Deer, which is a matte color. We're going to go in with that. And oh, that's a pretty pink color. Let's put that on the lid. It's cute. Let's zoom in a little. Okay, love that. Right? Looks good, huh? It's a cute color. Okay. So, um, I'm going to take my favorite new blending brush, which is the Sephora uh, Pro Blending Brush number 38. It's the Feather Weight Crease Brush. I'm going to go in with this color here. Right, love. This is called Missy. It's a, the matte color that we tried earlier. And I'm gonna put this in the outer V. Now there is some fallout you can see here, like when I when I go into the colors, but I mean, let's see. So I'm gonna go into the outer corner and then into the crease. Mm. Girl. Girl, it looks so good. I love those two colors together. 
It looks good. Let me tell you, this Sephora blending brush is great. It does like almost all the work for you and just makes everything blend out so nicely. So I'm going to go in again with another blending brush. This is by Royal and Lane Nickel, like this, a smaller one. And I'm going to go in with this. Um, this is called Damsel. It's also a matte color. It's this purple color here. This one's more for precise placement and again the fallout in the shadow in the in the palette is there but i mean it's pigmented so i'm gonna put this right in the crease just to darken up the crease here oh girl i dig it now maybe we should do like a nice bright color in the inner corner let me take a nice flat packing brush, which I can't see. I don't have my glasses on, so I can barely freaking see. So this is one that came from the um, Naked, what is it? The Naked 3 palette. So I'm going to, it's like two-sided. So I'm going to go in with this flatter side. And I'm going to take, um, this is color Babe, which is a satin. Let's try that. Still fall out in the satin shadows as well. And let's pack this on the inner corner. And this we're not going to swipe. We're just going to dab in here. Wow, so cute. I don't want to lose that, um, that inner, that pink color we put on originally. So let's go back in. What brush did I use for that? This was not it, was it? Yeah, so let's go back in with that first color that we used here. And let's just place it right on the center of our eye, right on top of our pupil. Don't want to lose that intensity of the pink here. So tap it first and then slightly blend it in with the other colors, like so wowzer okay for a highlight color i might go in with this is called ladylike here in the top corner which is a metallic and i need a very light brush <clears throat> i'm gonna use my mac 217 and just take a very little bit onto my brush and tap off the excess and we're gonna brush this up here just for a little highlight okay this looks so freaking cute it does not match my pink flannel I might have to change because <laughs> your girl didn't realize that I was wearing red but that's okay we do our outfit based off our makeup here in this house for sure so let's do an under crease under crease that makes sense let's do an under on um, what let's do a, a bottom i'm gonna take this brush and put something under my lash line let's try maybe that same yeah i know i'm gonna go with that color the same one right okay no problem okay i'm doing that um so i'm gonna go back in with um what the heck did i say I feel like I'm fucking up these names because they're all confusing. Right, left. I feel like I called this damsel, but it's Missy. I'm fucking up the name so bad because of this backwards shit. I already have dyslexia and now you're screwing with me even more. So I'll just put the names on the screen and ignore what I'm saying. So um, I'm gonna take this on this very uh, fine brush and I'm gonna put this on our lower Lash line, let me go like this. Whew. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I the only one? I can't be. Am I the only one that thinks this looks so freaking bomb? Ooh. Okay, so. What do you guys think? I need some chapstick um, for my lips. 
before I go on to the next step so I can let it sit while I do my face before I get to my lipstick. So far, honestly, the palette, I really love it. I feel like it will be something I'll grab a lot. And something I'll get a lot of wear out of. <clears throat> so let's move on to the face. I'm going to use the... Um, the bronzer which is called dame and i'm gonna use this just dome brush definitely fall out that's okay and we're gonna put it in the hollow points of the face and drag it into the hairline look already how this side looks more like thinner then the other side, I like to do my temples here and my forehead. I'm already pretty tan as it is right now. Okay, let's do this side here. It hides my double chin. And I always go like this so it makes this part of my neck look longer all about the illusion huh so bronzer i dig it what is this a hair okay let's try the blush which is called mistress I'm using my lancome brush oh super pigmented let's tap some of that off i still feel like that's a lot huh let's try with the lightest hand Wow, super, super pigmented. Dig it? It's super um, pigmented. So for a highlight, I use a few different brushes. I'm trying to think for this formula, would I need a more controlled brush? Or should I try a fan brush? Let's try the fan brush first. So I'm going to dip it in the highlighter, which is called Lassie. It's really pretty gold, which I don't usually do a golden highlight, but let's see. This is the ultimate test. Can you guys see that glow? Let's see. Okay. So, dare I say it's a little more, it's not as intense as their others. Let me see if I can do it with my finger it's a little more because some of them are super shocked but those are like the the formula of those are a little more creamy not so powdery but i mean you can definitely still see the glow i dig it let's try a lipstick i'm gonna do the ultra satin lip in darling Whoa, holy shit, it looks so good. Oh my God, I love this color. And it feels so good, like like what I was saying, it feels more comfortable on your lips, not so drying. And I feel like with this eye color, it just goes really well. But my red shirt is totally throwing off my vibe. Let me go change my shirt. And not just complete the look so much more. Hi. Okay, so that's the end of my review and I just wanted to unbox everything and also review with you all at one time. I have to say I'm really, really happy with this collection and the products, the lipstick, the, the shadow, the bronzer and highlight, the blush. I absolutely love everything and the packaging is to die for. So I would 100% recommend this. So 
overall i'm really happy with everything that i got here uh, my favorite would have to be the eyeshadow palette and then probably the lipstick that i tried and then the uh face palette but overall i'm pretty happy with everything i love the packaging the product is really great i love ColourPop in general but the quality of um the packaging in here is just amazing the quality of their product is always great i've never been a huge huge fan of their matte liquid lips but their satins I just tried for the first time, which I really love. And then I also have an, a one they have called Ultra Blotted Lip, which I really love as well. But the quality of their shadows and um, like blushes and stuff like that have always been great. So just great to see another collab. I absolutely loved it. So I would definitely give this collab a thumbs up. Um, I mean, let, let me know what you guys think or if you got it. If you had got this collab, let me know in the comments down below. I know it sold out really fast, so hopefully they bring it back. I'll link it down in the comments below. Definitely follow them on Instagram and check their Instagram story because they show a lot of new products that they uh, talk about when, when the launches are coming, swatches, how to wear things. It's really, really cool. I love watching their Instagram story. So um, hopefully you guys check that out. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments down below. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.